Remember in early elementary school when we had show and tell days? As I put this video together, I started to recall a few of things from those early school days a long time ago. I remember other students bringing in new toys and showing them off. I remember an aspiring magician showing us a trick he had just learned. I also remember a young lady in uh, second or third grade who rode her horse to school and I got to feed it a couple sugar cubes. Show and tell for many of us has continued into our ham radio hobby. As I can recall, proud new hams bringing their new HTs to club meetings and showing them off. Some would even say that these videos of mine are nothing more than show and tell sessions with graphics. I'm Tom, ND3N, this is a Ham Shack Chat, and besides reminiscences and philosophies, in this video we're going to be looking at Grid Tracker and how it can show you stations that you might want to work, and they'll even tell you when they show up in your WSJTX stream. Let me know down in the comments any show and tell recollections that you may have. And now the comments. So the first thing we're going to do is the second half of show and tell. So we're going to start by opening up our settings. That's this little icon that looks like a couple of gears working together. And we're going to be in the alerts setting. Now I've selected new grids and I changed it here to grid hunter, new DXCC. And I left that, this is the default, new DXCC and US states, and I've changed that to new worked all states. You can also go with new call signs, new CQ zones, new ITU zones, and you can set up a custom alert. The one uh, that is most often used is your call sign exact, but you can also do a partial call sign, a regenerated call sign, a grid square, or a QRZ zone. I'm gonna stay with my part call sign exact, and I'm going to put my wife's call sign in here. And her call sign is K3 Tango Alpha Mike. Some of the notifications you can get, play a media file. So if you've got a song that you want to play, a visual pop-up, you want to center it on the map. I'll go with text to speech, and then you simply add it. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I just wanted to show you what you could do. As you can tell, the alert announcements can become a bit overwhelming. Also, they are not necessarily useful without a bit of experimenting in setting the appropriate filters. I only use mine when I have Grid Tracker actively monitoring a band that isn't really active. For example, I might be monitoring 10 meters and waiting for it to open up. Once I start hearing alert messages, I will know that the band is beginning to open and that I can start to work that band. I've done the same thing with the 6 meter band with some good results. Of course, once I know a band is open, the first thing that I do is disable the audio alerts. I do keep the visual clues enabled and we'll go into how to do that next. If you're enjoying this so far, please take a moment to pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. So now we're in the show part of show and tell, where we're going to show you when certain items pop up. You can see I have three counties that I have not worked. And the way you get those highlit is I'm going to come here to more controls. I'm going to pick out what I want. I want to see grid, DXCC. I want to see parks on the air. I want to see state and county. I've got some of my filters set. For example, if I get much below a report of minus 15, I know it's going to be difficult to have. So I'll usually set this between minus 12 and minus 15. And you can also see right up here, I'm in my live band and mode. I'm looking at all traffic and I'm looking at new and unconfirmed. So now we've covered the show with the call roster filters and the tell with the settings alert tab. The only thing left is to put it all together. But before we move on to the demo, please help me get the word out about this and other videos by sharing them with your friends and cohorts in the ham radio community, especially on social media. Love, 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 share, share, share. 
Going back to our theme of show and tell, down here is where the show happens, and up here, under our alerts tab, is where the tell happens. I'm going to click on this more controls, and you'll see that I have nothing selected. But we're going to go ahead and select grid down here. And you can see that it flashed these up. These are new grids. Now if I wanted to tell me when a new grid comes up, I would click this up here and New Grid Hunter. Now let's go ahead and deselect those and try DXCC. I'm going to click on DXCC here and you see all I got Belarus right here. New DXCC. So Germany and Delar Belarus have come up. New DXCC. And you can see I've got actually quite a lot of them down here. So we'll deselect those and let's look for states. New worked all states. Okay, we've got a new worked all states. So let's see right there, Indiana. Not yet worked Indiana. Now up here, I do not have a selection for counties. So we're going to select that down here. We'll add county to that. And you can see I'm being shown there's Oklahoma is my new state here. And now let's turn them all on. We'll go grid. DXCC, all states. state and county, and grid and DXCC added up here. Get ready for a lot. New grid hunter. New DXCC. New worked all states. New grid hunter. New DXCC. New grid hunter. So you can see how that could become a little annoying after a while. I would recommend that you pick out what you want to hear. New Grid Hunter. New DXCC. New Worked All States. New Grid Hunter. New DXCC. And I'm just going to deselect everything again. I'm going to limit how high I can hear. Let's go to a 15. And what I would recommend if you do decide to use these features, you can leave these up. So let's let's go ahead and do that. DXCC, state and county. You'll get the visual clues down here, but you're not going to have it constantly in your ears. If you just want new DXCC, just turn on DXCC. So you can see I've got the announcements set to DXCC. And down here, because it's not annoying, I've got the show part set for grid, DXCC, state, and county. New DXCC. And finally, Germany is coming back to me. Now, he's receiving me at a minus 16. And I got him at a well, minus 3. So, we'll... Wait for this to process through. This station right here. I've made it all the way through. I'm going to log him. You'll see he's turned into one of these fuzzy outlined. And that means that he's not yet confirmed. Confirming can take a little while. At this stage of the video, it can be reasonably assumed that everything that can be said about Grid Tracker Show and Tell has been shown and told. However, that's not quite true. I've certainly given you enough to make the stuff happen, but I'm finding out new things about Grid Tracker just about every time I use it, and I've been using it for well over a year and a half. I suspect you'll find out more about it as you use it as well. Please comment with the things that you find out. Please remember to like and share this video. And lastly, please consider subscribing. You have my sincere thanks. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I'm at your service. This has been another Ham Shack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out. Let's watch the video of my ballet recital.